Windows 11 has been released. The good thing is that the Windows 10 Pro key also worked for the Windows 11 Pro version. So buy a key for $12.50 only at my website and decide for yourself which version you would like to use. And if you like my content, then please consider subscribing since apparently 94% of all the views are from non-subscribers. Welcome to part 4 of this tutorial. Here we will install all the mods which have something to do with world and environment. An example some more atmospheric audio overhauls, really cool. But also our, finally our weathers mod, Cathedral Weathers and Seasons, where this, um, yeah, actually this entire mod list has been based on. And also things like trees, plants and uh, the water mod. And of what's pretty important, the lots, the distant landscape files. Because, um, yeah, I think it's been done pretty well um, in, in this mod list. And you don't see that much pop-up. And the lots actually match perfectly with the yeah trees and all the other uh, things we're going to use, which requires lots. So, as always, you should be familiar now with downloading mods from uh, especially the ones which just require a single mod from the main files. Adding them in mod organizer and activating them. So that's what we're going to do also in this part, part world and environment using my Windows help feature to um, yeah, put windows next to each other. So world and environment. So make sure you so, um, create a folder world and environment now part four this is. And the first mod is a quality world map. A real cool overhaul by the way if I may say so myself. Really really recommend it. Click manual, press OK and activate the mod. Then we have this, the Northern Diaries Immersive Edition. This is why I did add in the description. This is an optional mod um, because this is actually copyrighted music by Jeremy Soul. Jeremy Soul is the same uh, uh, same composer from the Skyrim soundtrack, but he also did has have this great Northern Diaries uh, OST. You can find it on Spotify as well if you like, and it really, really matches perfectly in the world of Skyrim. It really belongs there. So. Uh, yeah, I would say really edit because once you did edit the Northern Diaries music will uh, be loaded together with the original Skyrim music But it really fits in perfectly But again, it's optional because if you are a streamer in example or maybe a youtuber like myself This video will get flagged as copyright and for YouTube that means the uh, Well the, the the monetization will go to Jeremy Soul. Okay, that's fair but um, yeah, if you're a streamer, it could be that you get a warning, so be careful. Uh, or at least a warning if you save your stream. I, th I think that's how it works on Twitch, an example. So uh, download if you like it. Um, I love it, so I'm going to use it. Even while I'm a YouTuber, I still love this fantastic music, The Northern Diaries. Then we have audio overhaul. It requires some additional files and with additional files I will show you what to download. So first the audio overhaul in the main files. That's just this one. And then we need to download conflict resolution for enhanced blood, blood textures. That's a mod we're going to also install later. Conflict resolution for enhanced blood textures. And we have the weather patch for cathedral weather, I think. Yeah, the patch for cathedral weather. So download those three files. Then we have the audio overhaul itself first. Comes with a lot of files, it seems. So far, so good. No exclamation marks, which means no missing master mods or other stuff we're not waiting. Uh, yeah, we're not looking for. Compatibility patch for enhanced blood textures. I think this is going to complain that it is requiring enhanced blood textures. Yes, as you can see here, we have the warning. That's because of this mod. So what we need to do is we need to uncheck this mod. Um, until uh, sorry, this plugin until we are have installed enhanced blood texture. So, can you remember we did set a note at the start of this tutorial? We're going to do that again. Double click on the mod, go to notes, set here, um, activate the ESP after you have installed installed enhanced blood textures. This is the title and type the same here copy paste the same here and then close as you can see 
it also has a patch note or a note to not to forget to do something with this um, patch file. All right, then we have the additional files for here. So the weather patch for Cathedral Weathers. Well, we have Cathedral Weathers, so that should not that should not give any issues. It does for some reason. Why is that? Missing Masters Cathedral Weathers. Okay, we do have Cathedral Weathers, right? That's strange. Let me check that. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Cathedral Weathers, we're going. No, we don't have it yet. So, um, I would say um, it's here somewhere. Cathedral Weathers, or is it? Well, it's 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 here in a bit. Uh, so, I would say let's not forget to do this. Um, but since I'm recording a tutorial, I'm pretty sure I might forget this stuff. So, I'm going to do this. Um, add move ESP after cathedral weathers so in case i forget this i know when i check all the um notes back i know i still need to do this but we're going to install cathedral weathers in a bit so we should be fine with that all right um then we had the not the last patch file which was the no or not was this already let's see did or did i miss something the pluxton gliding data glitch fix for square holes in the ocean Phew, wow <laughs> Oh no, wait a minute, this is for Cathedral Weathers, never mind. This one actually, the weather patch. So we have the, yeah, okay, no, we are fine, we are fine. Don't worry about it. Immersive Sounds Compendium is the next mod. It is just a single file, yeah. Immersive Sounds Compendium, click manual, press okay. This really adds, as the name says, to immersion, by the way. It's absolutely recommended, um, great, great, great mod. Uh, audio overall immersive sounds integration. That's also another one which work can work together with each other. Yeah, this is all just the main file, so I don't have to show you guys how to do that. Finally here, Cathedral Weathers and Seasons. So let me show you because we need to download a couple of things. Cathedral Weathers, the main file, obviously. The unofficial update in the updates file here, this one. And we do have the... This mod, full mod, Pluxton's Culling Data Glitch Fix for Square Holes in the Ocean. <laughs> Man, this is probably one of the longest file names I've seen, I think. But uh, yeah, let's do that now. Cathedral Weathers. All right, the patch file for Cathedral Weathers, or the unofficial updates. And then number 10, this... Uh, Long file name, which I'm not going to repeat again. All right, so now we have Cathedral Weathers and well, we need to um, move the ESP. So if an example, if I want to know which ESP belongs to uh, this file, I can just click it and it shows up here. So this is the AOS Cathedral Weathers patch. So I can drag and drop this after Cathedral Weathers. That should fix the issue. And you can see the exclamation mark um, is gone. So. To avoid confusion, let's just uh, remove the description that we need to do something with the mod. Because that's fixed now. So we only now have two mods left, which we need to do something at the end of installing that mod. All right. Great. So that was Cathedral Weathers and Seasons. This is Dynamic Volumetric Lighting and Sun Shadows, which requires a main file and an optional file. So let me show you that this is the main file. Let's see, is this actually the DVLASS Skyrim underside and optional files? It actually is. Okay. Now let's do that. Number 11, dynamic volumetric lighting and sun shadows. Press OK. Activate the mod. Net 12 is the underside patch, whatever that may do. No idea. But I believe the Lizios that we need to install that. Um, then shadows, shadows of sunlight in small exterior world spaces. That's also just a single main file. Manual press OK. OK, relighting Skyrim. This is our exteriors only lighting mod. So make sure you download this correctly, by the way. Don't get yourself 
don't let you get yourself distracted by downloading blindly a main file. We need to actually the miscellaneous file. So yeah, again, make sure you check that. That's important. All right, click manual exteriors only. Make sure you download the exteriors only. Volumetric mists. Um, yeah, that's a cool mod as well. Really atmospheric. So it comes with an options form. I correct my numbering. Uh, balance, subtle, just a balance. We don't need the performance. Um, yeah. Okay. So what do we, what does it uh, request? Select balance. Okay. Yeah. That's also here the recommended. Dense is maybe a little bit too much. Uh, dense, high FPS hit. This is much closer. Hmm. I have an RTX 3080. I'm going uh, for dense. Why not? Shall I do that? Yeah, sure. Why not? Souls time, yes, sure. Sounds good. EMB helper, um, yes, okay, EMB helper. That's what we also need. Clean menu, it's also just a single main file, so that's all good. Uh, immersive loading icon, just a simple main file. All good. Let's see. Um, then water. Really, really cool and necessary mods to update to water. 4K, of course. 4K. Let's see what does he recommend. Um, yeah, you have the Shades of Skyrim, which is a more vanilla style. Um, or you can select one of these colors, but I would just leave it to the Shades of Skyrim, 4K textures, and let's install it. Water for A and B. And that's landscapes, grasses, but we don't um, don't want to download the main file. At least download main file one that 65 and old files. I did add this description because it. I thought it had a newer file as well, which had no options for, and we really needed options for. So go to old files 1.65 because we only need to choose a specific thing from enhanced landscapes. The grasses, I think, the grass overall. I think also here's the mod where we need to. No, it's not this one. Never mind. Okay, so make sure you download that version. Enhanced landscapes. So, um, let's see, it's like grass overall. Apparently there's a grass overall here. Yeah, okay, you can install it for now, but later on we're going to install Folk Fanger, which I think is the better mod. Um, but yeah, for now it's fine. If you, for some reason, don't want to install Folk Fanger, just install it. And if you're going to install Folk Fanger like me, it will overwrite this stuff anyway. So that's good, grass overall. Skyrim 3, Trees and Plants, very important mod, by the way. Um, download the, okay, I promised for every multiple files we need to download, I open up the mod. So the main file, this one, and the 3D Plants, 3D Resources and Option Files, very important because um, Skyrim 3D Trees used to have horrible lots, but it's apparently they fixed it, so, um, yeah, it's very important you download this lot file as well. Okay, yeah, let's add that then. Create it recent plans, the main file. Press OK. Very cool mod, by the way. And the lot files. Press OK as well. Um, Skyrim 3D landscapes, really, really cool mod as well, by the way really really cool I just want to show you guys um, how it looks so you have a little bit of an idea so these are three trees and plants they look really really nice one of my favorite three mods as well so it's a good thing Glizios did include that in his mod list and 3d plants really really add some very cool 3d plants in the world of Skyrim very immersive it fits very well together so really really cool mods um, Fences of Skyrim. Yes. So where were we? Number 24. Fences of Skyrim. Yes. Manual. Okay. 
All right, and perfect terrain lot. Is this? Okay, yeah, um, be careful, you darling terrain lot for Noble Skyrim. That's this one. Press OK. And HD lots, textures for all the great lots. All right. Well, that part went pretty fast, didn't it? So, yeah, um, there was one thing I didn't mention here, but I would recommend you guys to do that. Reboot your PC because for some reason sometimes these big changes are not really not being yeah uh, being processed uh, um, that well by Skyrim modding. It's recommended to reboot your PC um, once in a while after you install a lot of mods, but I would say for now it's a good thing to reboot your PC. Do that. Start your game with Skyrim Script Extender, and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. So yeah, welcome back in game. We are here again in the world of Skyrim. Uh, first of all, as you can see here, these are uh, these plants are added by 3D Plants, and also we have new tree models by 3D Trees. Uh, so that looks good. Also, as you can see, the lots look good. Uh, in the past, I can remember for 3D Trees, they were absolutely horrible looking. They were very uh, lit, like uh, almost uh, yeah, like there was like a big light shining directly on them. I'm uh, let's first use T Detect TGM to avoid AI detection and. Uh, God mode. And what we want to check here is the water, actually. We want to check that the water is good. The grass looks nice. That's by Enhanced Landscapes. Um, but then again, I still think 3D Trees looks good. Here also, I think this has been added by 3D, uh, 3D Objects, 3D Landscapes. Lots of course, cool stuff has been added by 3D Landscapes. So the water, that should be a big improvement. And here also this wonderful stuff, as you can see. Very nice. Also, the lots look very cool, in my opinion. Very, very well done. And again, <laughs> it's it, you have no idea how horrible the lots in the past were about uh, from three trees. And they're now super nice. The music, by the way, as you can see here, is from Northern Diaries. So it could be that this video has is now being uh, on the copyright uh, stuff uh, from YouTube. But that's all right. So, yeah, look there in the distance. Also, no Z fighting because this area was sometimes also notorious for Z fighting as in the mountains would flicker. But that's not the case here. So very nice. Um, yeah, as you can see, we're definitely getting somewhere. We're definitely making impact in the game. So, yeah. I see you at the next part because we have some more stuff to mod and uh, but we're getting we're in a good good um, good modding spirit for now so see you at the next part